so it's filming day for RV Nomad's movie. Um, we've already done some B stuff a couple other days, but today's the lifestyle shots, which is us with our Airstream, some driving stuff, and then we've still got like an interview day. But being film ready, 7 a.m. with a toddler, <laughs> We are, we're pushing it to get going this morning, but we're, I think we're good. I had to get hooked up this morning before 7 a.m. too, but I've got that. And so we're cramming all our stuff in in like two days because we're trying to get from here to Alaska because most people we know are already actually in Alaska right now. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get up there as quickly as we can uh, once we get done filming here. So we are underway. Are you ready? <laughs> you ready, Hensley? Yep, we're good to go. So they've got, what, around five with the crew, I think, something like that. Um, Walkie-talkies, three cameras, all that kind of stuff. So we're doing some driving shots first, and then, I don't know what's up to that. Just... We, today <laughs> is kind of our lifestyle shoot, so we're just going throughout our day, and they're filming that process. Only a lot slower and uh, <laughs> possibly multiple takes. And tomorrow's our studio day, so we'll be sitting and answering some questions in the studio that they've created. And then they use a lot of what's today as B-roll to go with what we say in the studio, so it mixes together. Mm -hmm. uh, not like a live action movie where I'm like jumping <laughs> from the RV to the tree and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've never done that, but that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I guess the format, I think, like if you've ever seen the movie Minimalism, um, mm -hmm. I think, I think kind of like interview driven, B-footage, um, multiple people in there with thoughts and definitely don't want to speak for the whole movie but I think since it is an interview driven movie um, maybe might be more of that kind of feel. Hey. <laughs> I'm, what putting are we the, doing? I'm putting a foot in the screen. What are we doing? Getting a foot in the screen. We're following them aren't we Disney? Are we following them? Are we going fast? We're done with the drone stuff, the driving stuff. Um, now we're gonna do like a boondock scene simulation type deal. We're gonna. You wanna drive? Can you drive? Nope. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. This is their solar trailer. Basically, this is powering everything, keeping the batteries cool, all the video gears inside this, and it's just totally portable all day and gives them power for what they need to do for all the gear. Um, it's a lot of solar. More on top too. Nobody's allergic to peanuts, are they? It's all good. It's all good. No worries. We always love experimenting with how many people we can fit in our hair stream, but we've never put three guys with camera gear in there before. I'm zooming in so I can catch the beads of sweat glistening as a yeah. Fly through the air, slow mo. We're gonna be sweating the rest of the And shot. we don't have slow mo capabilities, so we're gonna need for you to like. <laughs> we need you to slow it down for us manually. So it's 12, 1 p.m. ish. We're kind of on the tail end of the shoot. We've been going strong since 7, 7.30. <laughs> um, it's a pretty cool spot though. It's kind of the backdrop we're using for the movie over here on this. Did a lot of our regular day routine stuff. Um, cooked some pancakes and ate that. Got Hensley ready. You ready to go on a hike? Love your backpack. Okay. So cool, Hensley. See all these cameras? Got a microphone and a little microphone and a big camera. Cameras everywhere. And you guys filming yourself. Yeah. <laughs> camera on a camera. Camera. And the slidey Where's camera. The slidey camera. Do you have fun filming for the movie? Okay. Uh huh. 
This is her starting to get sleepy phase where she's kind of like, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Quiet on set. On set. But we're wrapping up shooting here today um, as far as the lifestyle stuff. So what do you think, Hensley? Do you have some good pancakes? Uh -huh. Go for a hike? we got to work those pancakes off, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> she's, um, she's about ready for nap time. Party animal. <laughs> High five. Yeah. High five. Yeah, high five. Good job. It's a lot of high five. <laughs> a lot of high fives. Yeah. Good, good job. <laughs> So I showed the bank that Bonnie and Clyde robbed in 1933 in Wellington in our video before this. But uh, I also found out, this is our campground right down here. Uh, this bridge, I don't know if it was this bridge, I think they were either constructing this bridge or constructing some other bridge right here. But right here in this area, Bonnie and Clyde were speeding north on this road, didn't realize the bridge was out and that there's a detour, crashed into this riverbank right here behind our RV and uh, their car caught on fire. They ended up shooting one person. I think they ended up like, kidnapping the sheriff and his deputy in their car and then going somewhere else and then tying them up with barbed wire and continuing over with the different, anyways, you know, doing all the things that Bonnie and Clyde did. But this is one of the spots where some of that history happened. And uh, that's pretty cool to, uh, not cool what they did. Not cool, but <laughs> neat that you can walk around the same places and possibly the same place where their car caught on fire and where history was made. Amazing, totally amazing. Don't know what you'll ever find in these towns you go into, uh, whether it's a small town of 2,000 people like Wellington or a huge city that has hundreds of thousands of people. Um, there's something cool to be seen everywhere you go and check out. Hey, Hensley. Hi. Somebody left their shoes. They did? There's a lot of shoes out here. There's a lot of people. Yeah. Where are they all at? They're there. All over the place? Drop on too, I guess. Okay, Hensley. This feels good. All right, let's walk around. Come on, which way you want to go? This way. All right, go that way. So did you know that Bonnie and Clyde crashed right into this riverbed? Right here? Right here. It's a pretty crazy. This is a Do you know what happened right in here. the inn for Bonnie? I know it didn't end well for them. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can share in the comments. <laughs> we have very weak internet down here. Yeah, I had to read that on the sign, but pretty cool that you can go whether it's a town of 2,000 or 200,000. There's some history uh, that you can learn and be a part of and walk in and be around and um, don't approve at all of what they did but it's still cool to be a part of history i guess because uh, our rv is like right over here she's really wanting to get over there with those kids <laughs> Hensley, we're coming and this river is pretty good they call this a river it's like a big to me this is a big creek with how i grew up in tennessee it's just sand warm water <laughs> oh man it's so soft the whole thing yeah. is soft red sand um, hensley's loved it it's oh yeah it's like a play good area. For the Texas heat just mm -hmm. to come down here. People just come out and <laughs> dig a hole, sit in it, and relax, from what I understand, to get out of the heat. So Hensley spotted some kids here. She is super social. I know that sometimes you think, you know, what if a, a kid's on the road? But I think, if anything, it's taught her to be really outgoing, even more so than than living in your little bubble i think it's really great mm -hmm. but she kind of forces us out of our bubble because now we're having to go down here and yeah, talk we get to, to meet a lot strangers. of parents yeah <laughs> <laughs> with kids of all ages and adults and it's really i think expanded herself socially um through different ages too i think there's a lot of assumptions with wellington RVing, travel in general and part of the reason we're involved with this movie is because we're hoping that it'll challenge some of those assumptions of what RVers are like or what RVers do and broaden the reach of uh, you know our message of less junk more journey but also broaden the reach of what RVing is really about and we hope we can share it in a little bit different way uh, as just being a small part of the movie that's coming out in October and until next time I'm gonna hang out with Marissa and Hensley in this river where apparently Bonnie and Clyde wrecked and I'll catch you guys later